So one thing about massage therapy school, you're not only getting the perspective and the experience and the knowledge and the learning of being a practitioner, you also, um, you know, your fellow students, they need somebody to practice on as well. So you're basically either giving massages all day or getting massages all day, right? Getting all kinds of experience from both sides, uh, you know, as the um, patient or client as well. And if there's one thing that I've, learned as a client, um, as a patient, it's that we are releasing so much energy, right? So my practitioner or my, sorry, uh, the woman who taught me how to be a practitioner, um, she was very much into the energetics of things. You know, some people are just very scientific and by the book, but she was very much intuitive and she was very much um, an energetic person. She taught us how to see auras and she taught us all kinds of fun um, energy healing modes modalities and stuff like that. Um, so my point is, I just came from a massage myself. Um, that's something that I make a point to do regularly because I know like today that was reinstilled in me, um, I released so much energy, you guys, like a stupid amount of energy. And this is how you can tell that you are releasing energy when you get a physical massage, right? You laugh. It could seem like you're ticklish in some spots. You know, I know anytime she's under my ribs or anytime she's uh, in my back area or anything like that, I, you know, I'm almost like laughing in the beginning or it just feels like it tickles. And then after a while, um, it's kind of like a, it hurts so good kind of thing. And after a while, as they work through the knots, you can actually feel that energy shift. You can feel the energy being worked out and worked through you and transmuted and whatnot. Um, because let's not forget you guys, uh, we can have physical, um, we can have physical knots and what these are, uh, you know, are physical knots, but on an energetic level, um, you know, all the times that we get stressed out throughout our day or when we experience trauma or stress or anxiety or depression or any of that, we can actually store it in different parts of our body, right? And so when we store up that energy, it creates energetic blockages and that's just not good because it, um, it hinders the energy flow, you know, to and from your cells. So, um, massage therapy is so beneficial. I have multiple videos on why it's so beneficial on an energetic level. But you guys, number one, you will be laughing until it is released. Once you are not giggling anymore, once it doesn't tickle anymore, you know that that energy has been converted. And if you don't get to a point where you're not laughing about it anymore, where you're not, uh, you know, if it just still tickles, if it's still having that reaction is because you have not released that energy and you may, may need to do further stretching or come back for, you know, future appointments because one session may not be enough, you guys. Um, some of these uh, energies that we hold within our body are so embedded or they've been there for so long and, you know, our energetic body is so used to it being there. And so you almost kind of um, have to command your body to release you know and as i'm getting a massage as i was just getting a massage um i would feel my muscles uh on a kinesiology level right i would feel resistance like i would feel like clenched up like i didn't want to i didn't want to just let go and allow that muscle to release um it, we can this is so apparent in the sacral if you've ever had uh, somebody do the sacrum pop or the sacrum uh, stretch on you, uh, you know that it can be a big, whoo, it can be a big shift, a big energy release, right? Um, so if you come out of your session, another way that you can tell is if you come out of your session and you're feeling so much lighter and just so much more flexible and so much more Ooh, like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders that you didn't even know was there. That is how you know you released a lot of energy, you guys. So I just wanted to throw out there, um, that's how, you know, a couple ways that you know that you release some energy. Um, make sure to drink a shit ton of water. Also, it can be so beneficial to take a Epsom salt bath, um, like a lot, pour like half the bag in there or hold the whole bag in there, right? To cleanse out the toxins because as, um, you know, kind of like with our body, when our knots in our body get released, it kind of releases toxins that were built up, you know, and it releases those into the bloodstream and it helps if we, you know, 
take a bath and sweat it, you know, sweat it out, get it out of your body, get it out of your system. This is also true for uh, leftover energy re residue. Essentially, if, if you have energy buildup and it gets massaged out and transmuted out and it's, uh, you know, you, you kind of worked it out, right? That's great, but it can still leave kind of pieces or, you know, um, it can still leave kind of like a residue in a sense, an energetic residue. So you just want to wipe all that out, clean all that out. You want to make sure we have great energetic hygiene. It's just as important as physical hygiene um, because it keeps that energy flowing um, to and from our uh, physical and our spiritual body our um, energetic body if you will right um that's the connection so we want to keep that connection we want to keep it flowing strong right we want we want our energy from our soul from our spirit um from the universe to be flowing into our body we want to have our life force otherwise we wouldn't be alive right the more life force we have the more energy we have the better we can do right um the more we're capable of so that's all i have for you guys for right now um that's just my two cents coming from a licensed massage therapist i went to school for this stuff you guys and i've had so much experience uh in both from both uh sides of it right so give me a little thumbs up if this video helped you out in any kind of way um go ahead and subscribe if you have not done that already we talk about all kinds of awesome energy type stuff chakras meridians um how to clear your energy uh, different healing modalities, uh, Reiki, and you know, we get into a lot of different stuff, right? So I hope you all have an amazing day. Namaste.